the March 6th of the year 2011, the day that the pagans call their day of their sun or Sunday, it's the first day of the week, the day that they worship the sun on. Well, brethren, let's get right on over into the Lord's Care Ministry, a year to keep your eyes on heaven. I was asked why we emphasize heaven here, and I, I, I'd like to uh, answer that in just a very short time without a whole sermon. But heaven is where the Father and Son is. Wherever they are, that is heaven. And if you go into the New Testament, you'll find that Christ says, I and the Father, the Father in me. And if you are following their commandments, they in you. So that'd be heaven. That's a short answer for it. Okay. Day 64 of the 2011. Today we're going to talk about being fully alive. I suggest you write the chapter and verse down on a pad and paper. You can go back and study the whole context at your own leisure. And you can use the pause button down here in the corner to be able to find the place in your Bible and be able to read along with this. Or you can just use the pause button to go get a drink and come back and start it all over again. Well, brethren, with that, let's get right in to being fully alive. To do that we'll go to John chapter 8 and verse 12 and also chapter 10 and verse 10 and that's where we're going to start our little study. John chapter 10 and verse 10. My purpose is to give life in all its fullness. Our book Mr. Fuller, one of the most creative minds in the 20th century, his list of inventions would take an entire book to discuss. In 1933, he developed a three-wheel rear-engine Dymaxon car, which became the prototype for most of today's streamlined V automobiles. He created his first spherical cartographic projection of the world ever granted in the U.S. patent. In 1947, he made scientific history by inventing the geodesic dome, the most famous, famous if not significant contribution to society. When asked about his invention, Fuller created his creative to a free captain during his childhood years. As a young boy, Fuller went to bed one night and woke up blind. Medical experts were baffled. There seemed to be no reason for his sudden lack of sight. It just happened. For several years he remained blind. Until one morning, to everyone's surprise, he awoke able to see. He had regained his sight just as suddenly and unexpectedly as he had lost it. To this day, the event has baffled doctors and scientists alike. Fuller later explained that when his sight came back, the world suddenly proved new and exciting to him. He saw things more clearly than ever before. Every sunrise seemed a miracle. The skies, the trees, the ocean took on a heightened level of wonder. And because of his passion for the world around him, he was able to open up a world of creativity and discover beyond anything he had ever imagined before. For the believer, Jesus brings that same kind of wonder and passion and discovery. Instead of seeing the world through the eyes of darkness and confusion, we suddenly see everything with new eyes and new hope. Where once we saw limitations, we now see possibility. Everything is new. I am the light of the world. Brethren, I want you to check all the way through your whole Bible, uh, this little word light. 
go from the beginning all the way to the end. And every place you see light, you can insert the word knowledge. Every time, every time you see darkness, insert the word ignorance. Not dumb. A lot of people are not dumb. They're, they are ignorant of the subject. So Christ is saying here, I am the knowledge of the world. Jesus says in John chapter 8 and verse 12. And through that knowledge or light it says here, we are able to see beyond here and now and into the hereafter. In John chapter 10:10, 10, 10, when Jesus tells us, my purpose is to give life in all its fullness. He is telling us what we can expect if we allow him to open our eyes to the truth of God's word. Jesus does not just show us a better way to die. He shows us a better way to live, abundantly, completely, and fully alive. Are you still walking in darkness or ignorance, as I would put it? Are you still walking in ignorance in your life? If so, what would Jesus have you do? How can you come to the light of Jesus? How can you come to the knowledge of Jesus? Christ is the world of light. Christ is the world of knowledge. In John chapter 8 and verse 12, I am the light of the world. I am the knowledge of the world. He who follows me shall not walk in darkness, he said, follow me shall not work in ignorance, but have the knowledge, or have the light of life, but have the knowledge of life. And read that through there. As you can see, I inserted knowledge and ignorance in the place that they have translated here. Check out the Bible and just see how correct that is. And that was found in John chapter 8. And verse 12. Brethren, in God's word only do we trust. Never in the tradition of men. Beware the tradition of men that make void the word of God. By using Sunday as his day of worship, you make him void the word of God, which says the seventh day is his day that he rested on. We can go through the whole Ten Commandments and do the same thing with it. People are picking and choosing multiple choice of what commandments they want to keep. They said, oh, I love you, Lord. But they don't love him. How come they're reaching up to heaven where he's supposed to be in here? That's why we bow our heads. We're talking to Father and the Son that is within us. That's where heaven is. That's where they are. Check your Bible. Christ sits on the right hand side of the Father. It says in heaven. Check it out. Is this confusing? Study it for yourself. And brethren, if you want to follow Christ to the kingdom and eternal salvation, Get down on your knees and repent for following the tradition of men, asking for the wisdom, the knowledge, and the understanding that he has given to you in the letter he has given to you that is found in your own Bible that you're supposed to have in front of you right now. Brethren, with that, we're going to close for today. You all have a great and wonderful day. I know I will. God willing, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.